Oh, hi. Oh, we are live. Good job. Good job, human. Can you hear me? I hope all of you can hear me. So today, what I want to share to you is how I groom my dogs. And oh, hi. <laughs> You're the first one. You're the first one to to log in. So I'm gonna share with you how I groom my dogs. And especially the hardest to groom, it's my small dog Kaya. And I'm gonna. I will be sharing how I will be showing you how I trim his hair how I trim his uh, nails how I clean their ears with the least effort and the least fuzz possible and I'm also gonna cover how I bathe them I'm not gonna show you how I bathe them but I'm going to walk you through how I do things when uh, I start giving them a bath. So, let me just... Because this is, this is priority. <laughs> they are so professional, right? <laughs> okay. So, let's put this one here. Now, I want to discuss how I bathe my dogs. And a lot of you at home are are actually not how do i say it uh most of you are not used to bathing your dogs especially if your dog has a long hair uh coat or you just simply don't want to do it and you want to bring your dogs to a groomer so you're not going to invest on a blow dryer and that's a huge problem because you don't want your dogs to be wet and touch dry doesn't mean it's dry underneath it's still wet and if it's wet then bacteria lives in it it accumulates dirt and they start itching and they start smelling like they start smelling funky so you wanna avoid that but at the same time I don't I don't recommend using a human hair dryer because it gets really hot and it takes a very long time because it's just meant for human hair it takes a really long time for you to dry your dogs and the dogs will suffer and there's nothing humane about it the next one is even if i have thick coated uh hair dogs like kahati my bigger biggest dog i still don't recommend i don't i want i like skipping the the blow dryer that's meant for the dogs because one it's really noisy my dogs suffer and i don't like that there's nothing it's not an emergency situation i don't need to dry them immediately so why why not just use time and you know some science and today's lesson is not about dog grooming it's about chemistry <laughs> the branch of science where you you will have to concoct something and know um the the components of uh today's mixture is what i want to show you it's my leave-on conditioner so we're gonna do some chemistry um i still don't like the industrial blow dryer again because it's noisy and it still gets hot when someone tells you that no you know what it's it's just the air it's the power that pushes the water out it's true but after 15 20 minutes it still gets really hot lastly it blows too much so there's a sound there's a temperature and there's the force it blows a lot of air that every time it goes to the dog's face it's not it's just not good i don't like my dogs suffering whenever they're grooming i mean most of my dogs are rescued if not all of my dogs are rescued and they don't like one getting wet number two staying in that area where it's too loud in a grooming so I, I, as much as possible, I make it as quick as, uh, as quick as possible, and I do it myself. So the shampoo that you can use, no, 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 the shampoo that I use for my dogs, whether I'm here at home or I'm in a grooming area, is Head and Shoulders. In the states, it's not that I stay there for so long to for that I have to groom my dogs. Uh, it's I believe it's selson blue because my dogs have allergies and it's really good to remove that extra dander 
that they have and because Head and Shoulders in the Philippines and some other country if it's available Head and Shoulders as we all know is an anti-dandruff shampoo you dilute it with a lot of water pour it over the dog lather rinse that's perfect next I and you're hitting a lot of birds with one stone here I put my own concoction of leave on conditioner to my dogs for three reasons one they have allergies and it's really good for their skin number two it it makes it gives me the opportunity not to use a blow dryer and then just leave it onto the num number four it is not inhumane to the dog because the the ingredients is safe for us and you just have to leave it onto your dogs and it's just less hassle um, wait wait till it dries I, you don't even have to dry it do not rinse it off because it's a no rinse conditioner so let me show you how I do it let me let me show you my conditioner so it's this one this one is a liter of water, a cup of white vinegar, and a hundred drops of Povidon iodine. See? A hundred drops. Probably two tablespoons. Okay? So, there's that. The next one, and just add water, and then shake it. The next thing that I want to show you is how I make it and I use this every time I paint my dogs. In fact, I use it every day for them because when I walk them and on their way back they feel a little bit hot, it's a perfect time to uh, wet them again with this even if, we, even if we walk very early in the morning. So I bathe them with this and I'm going to show you how I wet them with this every day and I'm going to show you how I make it so again get your bovidone iodine a hundred drops let's do that now and put it in an empty liter of you know, container that can hold a liter of water done of course, you still have a few more drops there, but don't worry, we're going to do something about it. Use the same cup, or you can just do it straight. You can just uh, transfer the Povidon iodine to your container. I just wanted to show you how I do it. So there's that. Get a cup of white vinegar. Transfer it to your container. Whoops! Make sure you get the rest of the Povidon iodine. There. Done. Next. Add your water. Done. Get the cap, put it back in, give it a good shake. Done. This is what I use as a conditioner to my dogs every time I give them a bath. So it does three things. One, it prevents you from you know, doing the blow dry thing. I don't I don't like it. Number two, you can leave it on to your dog. Even if your dogs are wet, your dogs are not gonna breed bacteria in them because it's there's povidone iodine and there's vinegar. Bacteria will not survive. 
My dogs are allergic, have allergic reaction to yeast, and yeast overgrowth in the skin. This helps your dog a lot. Your dogs will not stink as well. Okay. And lastly, this disinfects your dog. And it's there's nothing toxic about this at all. And I use it every day to, especially when you're going out, make sure that you have this. You don't have the whole thing if you have two, three dogs. You just want to wet them uh, thoroughly with it. And for you to be able to wet them, I have a hack for you. So I'm not just going to open this one up and pour it just because it's wasteful. So what I did was, because I buy a whole lot of vinegar because that's what I used to clean. Uh, my studio, my house, uh, the, 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 the carpets, everything I, I use. If you come to my house and then you say, oh Brad, your house smells like feet, so it smells sour. Well, it's, it's a good thing for me to know that because I use vinegar to clean my whole house. Um, here's a hack. You make something like this out of the, oh, not this one, wait, oh shit, here it is, because I used it earlier. I punched three holes, can you see that? I punched three holes, you can, you can punch more holes, and every, I, I bring two, because whenever I bring one in my bag, or stored in the bathroom, I use this cover. The one without holes and then when about i'm about to use them i use the ones with the holes and then now you can shower them and it's not as wasteful as when you're just pouring it without the punched holes of the cap and yeah you can like this with akaya when i bathed him earlier it was up to here and I just used this much. If I didn't use the punch holes, then I would probably pour half. And most of the time, most, most of the liquid will not actually be on his skin because I mean, it's not controlled. So those are the life hacks. This is what I'm uh, excited to show you. Do, just towel dry your dogs if you have to. But do not dry. Leave leave the conditioner on them the whole time and it, they will not smell like povidone iodine they will not smell like vinegar and they will still smell like the shampoo that you use if you don't have uh, anti-dandruff shampoo you can use here in the philippines you can use what's called perla perla is a basic soap um, there's no way that your dogs are going to be harmed because perla is so gentle and it's not gonna harm your skin, the baby skin, the human baby skin, and your your fur kids' uh, coat and skin. I use diluted head and shoulders. So, mm, what else? Oh, if your dogs are have white uh, fur, I will not be afraid of using povidone iodine if it's diluted this much. It's not gonna stain them. But if you're curious uh, to know if, if I would use it to a white dog, I would. Because again, it's not going to stain them. Uh, but at the same time, if you feel like you don't want to use it, skip the povidone iodine. Just up the amount of white vinegar. At the same time, if you have a dark colored dog, I will not use vinegar that much although i really don't care i'm more for the health than how they look um because it might bleach your dark colored dog a little again i don't fucking care about that i care about is it healthy for them or not so those are the things that i want to show and share with you and let me put these ones aside there we go put this one back here so that's your that is your um, leave-on conditioner. Next, hmm. ears. I would like to show you how I clean my dog's ears. But before that, what do I have at home that I can use to clean my dog's ears? 
I don't buy the professional solution uh, because this is what I have been using to prevent yeast, dirt, and uh, to disinfect their ears. And I irrigate them with it. So I will share it, my recipe, two ingredients, again. White vinegar, 70% isopropyl alcohol. That's the only thing that I use for myself and my dogs. So, I started using this when I was a swimmer, when I was really young. And to prevent your ears to get infected, especially here in the Philippines, back in the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s, uh, it's a third world country, so our swimming pools are not as clean unless you go to um, the higher end swimming pools. And I just keep on using this after every uh, practice because it disinfects the, the ears and I irrigate myself with it and then shake it and then it goes down and just feels good. I know for some of you it's gross but I don't care what you're saying. For me, it's, it feels really good. So let's do that now because we're going to use it later. See, I ran out of it. Um, the, reason, the reason you want to use vinegar is because it kills the yeast and my dogs are yeasty okay so again i used this when i was a swimmer and when i was trying to read up on things i can help my dogs with uh, because they had allergies this also came up so what do you know it's it's also compatible to dogs and I'm also afraid of using something to scrape the dirt out of their uh, ears. I don't like that. And it's also something uncomfortable to the dog. Oh, hold on. I might have to use... Oh, this is vinegar or water. A little water is okay, but not too much because it doesn't dry out. That one. Fill it up. Shake well before use. Put this one down here. And. Mm. That's. <laughs> that smells. That smells good. Okay. 50% isopropyl alcohol, 50% uh, white vinegar. Irrigate the ears duck because they're gonna have to shake it and you don't want the gunk to go to you i'm gonna demo how that uh, is done later on and now let me get kaya and let me show you how i make him go around do his thing but yeah. he needs to be in a cone and you want to prevent them from licking the leave-on conditioner not because it's toxic but i don't want their saliva going on to their skin because uh, he also has some allergies oh thank you he also has some allergies and i don't want his saliva getting into his skin because his saliva is not a disinfecting uh, liquid that will remove the leave-on conditioner and germs and bacteria will build up because of that saliva so oh oh nice so let me remove this now he's totally dry totally totally dry he looks like he's wet but that's because i haven't uh, combed him yet so i'm gonna start combing along the growth very gently like that See that? See? Okay. Along the growth, 
His hair is short enough that it doesn't tangle. See that? I'll show you on this side, right? I can't read what you're saying. I'm so sorry. I want to say hi, but I have to concentrate more on the dog now. Okay. When you're grooming your dogs, it's a perfect time to check whether they have, you know, um, some allergies, if they have some bumps, if they've lost weight from the last time, especially when you have long-haired dogs like Kaya right here. Um, it's a nice way of also petting them. It's a nice way of starting to uh, see if they have uh, fleas or ticks or other or ear mites. Yeah. So that solution also, the solution that I just uh, showed you how to make, also prevents ear mites. So and kills mites. I will not use that solution and the leave-on conditioner when they have open wounds because obviously it's going to irritate it more and it's going to hurt a lot. So, um, you know, some rashes, it's good enough to use that. They will feel a little bit uncomfortable because it stings, but not as much as um, when it's an open wound, okay? A little sting is okay. They start jumping back and forth because, of course, it's vinegar. So, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is to fluff it up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start brushing against the growth. So I'm gonna start with his chin, like that, just to make sure that there are no uh, knots. And then I'm going to start slowly brushing the back. So I keep his hair relatively short for a Yorkie. Not quite short that he starts looking like a Chihuahua. But not very long that it starts uh, knotting. I don't like my dog's hair very long. It takes a lot of time to... Uh, maintain so okay so he has he has a little bit of itch here by the armpit okay seems like this one is okay the other one has a red dot and I think it's probably an insect bite or I walk them every day and I allow them to you know sniff shop and sometimes no not most of the time this guy gets he gets into places where he's not supposed to just to get you know a food smelling item that's hidden somewhere so yeah, and if it's food, then ants are on it, of course, and some other, uh, some other insect. Okay, so I fluffed it out. I'm gonna brush it back down. The reason why I'm doing the fluffing is because I want to see if I want to examine his skin, and I want to see if there are any knots. And I also because I I left him to dry on his own. The hairs are clumped up together. They're not knotted, but they're clumped up. Okay, so try. The first three things that I prioritize are the eyes, the ears, and the paws. Okay? The last few ones would be the genitals, uh, the body, and the, the butt. So, let me try to see this. So that's my system. I'm not saying that it's the same system that everybody should be following. I did not read up on that. It's just the system that I personally follow. So, let me try to see. 
I always like their eyes exposed because just like me, I don't like those bangs that goes over the eyes. It just it irritates me and it covers my beautiful face. And it also covers his cute face. So I don't want anything that obstructs his eyesight. So let me show you. See that? See the nose right the hair here covers a few covers a part of his face. See that? You gotta use a little bit of force. <laughs> See that? See that one? This one? I'm gonna cut that. So I will make sure that this one is clean so no hair will go in standing up and cover his high side. So I'm gonna face him here and this is what I use to cut my dog's hair. As all of you know, I am an artist and I am I love arts and crafts. Always I always use a craft scissors. Why? Because it's not as sharp and it doesn't have that sharp pointed tip. Can you can you see it? There. The sharp pointed tip, you don't have it. So it's a lot safer for me to go around and see if I'm doing it right without accidentally cutting or uh, poking my dog's face. Okay? So you have to be very gentle about this. Hold on. show that again I also like looking at there you go a little bit more so it's a lot safer if you start snipping small portion at, uh, at a time instead of sh just going for it because you just might hit your dog's eye okay. by the way what I have here is my foldable table and my anti-slip thing that you can get from hardware if you don't have it get an oversized towel make sure that it's secure so it doesn't slip and you can use that okay to have traction when the dog is standing up Now you get your ordinary comb and then try to fluff things up. See if it's even. Oop, hold on, Kai. There's still one more right here that I am bothered with, not him. But when I look at it here, it's not a problem. Wait. I will stop there. There's one more here. Let's do the other side. Okay. Good boy. Fluff it up. I use my hand a lot, no problem. Okay, wait. Face them again. There you go. So much better. So much better. Ooh. 
This one is the hair. Here's your reminder. Potty the dog. It's the hair by the. Yes, Alexa, thank you. We're done pottying. Hi, Fandi. Hi, everybody. Here's your reminder. Okay, so there's that. Potty the dogs. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the hair here. Because I don't want it going to his eyes. And what I want to do is to brush back down. Everything. See that? I don't like that going to my dog's hair. And then I will just cut the bang straight and make him look stupid. Because he looks cute when he looks stupid. Hi, guy. Ate Pia, Ate Pia Sdero. Hi. Hi, Ate Pia. Okay. Let me face him to me. And then start cutting straight. Wait. And look at that. Can I show your face? Yay! Now you can see his eyes. His eyes are not covered with hair. Well, my face is covered with hair. And then... Yeah, he has bang. See that? Yay! Now I'm gonna have to trim this one. The beard. Here. I call it the beard and the only thing I want to do is to cut it as much as I can just cut it in a you know circular shape so I'm gonna face him again to me the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want it to go to his food again there's a practical reason why I do it hi Tessa so okay so this is what I do I brush it toward the face like that okay brush it up hey hey Tessa see and that's what I'm going to cut this hair that hair that's what I'm gonna cut okay face him to me wait It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. Just be very careful. Very careful not to cut your dog's skin and gifts. Ta -ta -ra -ra. Now he looks stupid. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now the ears. We're done with the eyes. We're done with the chin. Now let's do the ears. The only thing that there's nothing really wrong about the hair inside the ears because it's clean. And I'm not gonna. I I think I cut this one two weeks ago, so I'm not gonna touch that. What I'm gonna do is just to trim this one, the fluffy ones. That's going up and I don't like that this time I'm gonna brush his bangs up and see which one I have to hi, to leave okay and face him again to me hi come here up there's not much to remove here again be very careful Okay. 
There's nothing professional with what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, Anna. Next, other side. That. We like this scruffy look. Nice. See that? Yay! Can you shake? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake. Shake, not sneeze. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. There you go. And face here. Wow! See that? How cute that face. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the paws and I personally like that my dog's paws are cut like that one of a poodle because the poodle the poodle's haircut normally has a very short um, cut here it's almost close to the skin and I like that because bacteria doesn't breathe in it and what I want to do is to go as close as possible, but how are we going to do that without without um, a, buzz, uh, a buzzer, a uh, clipper? I don't want to use my clipper because it just might uh, nick his skin. I will not go for a really close shave, really close cut. What I'm going to try to do is to uh, cut it short enough that it, he won't accidentally step on it and short enough that it's gonna look like it's um, not fussy like look at that so from the top again there's nothing scientific about this i just follow the paw and then from there i brush it up and then try to make a circle of sphere out of it and it starts looking like a cat i think golden retrievers are groomed that way that's what i heard so I'm gonna make him just stand right here and then see remove this and okay, you have to show it okay you have to show it you have to remove this excess and it has to show his nails which I'm gonna cut again later on okay cool, so let's try that Pull the hair up or get a brush. I just pull the hair up. Pull the hair up. And then just cut it. Pull the hair up in between. The nails. Up. And cut. Now check the difference between the two paws. This one is exposed. It's exposing the fingers and this one isn't. So we're gonna try to mimic what we did here. So I like that better because it, it I mean the bacteria doesn't uh, grow in that kind of uh, paw. Once with the groomed hair. So let's do that again. Hold on. No. Hey, you have to do the same. You need to I encourage, if you're a beginner, I encourage help, uh, especially when you are dealing with dogs that are hyper, like this guy. I had to walk him extra longer today. What? Hold on. Hmm. 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 Pull it up. Expose the nails.
See? Done. Let's check the back. Okay. Yes. Keep sneezing. Okay, the back is terrible. Hold on. Let's do the back part. Back part. Expose the nails. Done. Next. Expose the nails. Make sure that you keep exposing the nails and cut, cut the hair. You don't need those hairs um, in between your dog's paws. Okay. So now you're, we're done with the upper part. Now we have to go under uh, the pads. And that's a little bit tricky. You want to remove the extra hair there because it makes them slide and I don't want that. Uh, so what I want to do is to make, make sure that you're, uh, this is how I do it. The butt is facing you, you lift it up and see whatever hair you can cut between the pads. I don't know how to show this to you, but nice and gentle. Okay, a small part at a time, that's done, okay? Professional groomers, they use a clipper for this one, I don't. It makes me feel paranoid. I just keep trimming it with a craft scissors, no problem. Okay, I think we are good. I think we're good. At least with this paw. Okay, nice. Front paw again. Pick it up, fold it underneath them. See? Oh, nice one. It's exposed. Shh. Hey, what are you doing there? I love trying to get something. Hey. It's last. Last one up. Kaya is being so nice today. Normally, he's a lot harder to manage. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Last one. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Last one. Last one. Okay, very good. Nice. Now, the ears. He hates this part. You know what? I'm gonna make him rest, run around, and make sure that my table is clean. Oh, the hair. So I'm gonna concentrate on the challenging parts before going to the body. Anyway, the body is not. It's not that long. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. You got to shake, shake, shake. 
And now the ears. Okay, let's do that. Let's get our solution. This one I don't really do, but I just want to show you. I'll get cotton balls for later. The solution. Okay. You want to use cotton balls and wet it generously with the solution and then start removing the dirt. Of course, there's no dirt. The dirt that you can see. I do not suggest using a Q-tip. I do not suggest that you insert it as far as you can. Just the ones that you can see and the ones that the cotton ball can reach. Okay? Because once we irrigate that, then the, the debris might go inside and it might get trapped there. So might as well remove as much as you can. And done. Okay? Now, okay, we're gonna fight here. Not that we haven't been already, but we're gonna fight. So I'm gonna fold this one and I, I will irrigate his ears. Ah! Two or three squirts. He hates that. And then massage that part where the liquid gets trapped. This one he likes. See, it's the spraying that he hates. This one he likes. And then, just keep massaging that with the other hand. I'm gonna start spraying the other ear. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then massage. He hates the spraying, but he likes the massage. Yes. You're gonna hear that inside. I don't I, I think you can hear it, can you? And then you have to duck because he's gonna shake and you don't want any of the gunk to your face. Okay, so hold on. Okay. Okay, he's not it's not at the angle that it can hit me. Nice! Good. Because we've been doing this regularly, it's there's hardly any gunk inside. Good point. Good point. Good point. Great. So, now we're going to check his butt. You have to leave the butt alone. You don't want the butt to be too um, hairy. This one is okay. Also, also his penis. <laughs> leave the penis alone. Oh, and leave the balls alone. He's neutered, so he doesn't have that. I have a lot of clients, I have a lot of friends whose dogs have balls that have accidentally burned because of a hot razor. Just ask the groomer to slowly snip the, the extra hair and you don't have to make it a Brazilian <laughs> um, trim. You don't have to. And that actually irritates the balls. So now what we're gonna do is mimic what my what my hairstylist does, which is so I'm gonna start at the back part just to show you. I'm gonna start at the back part. Get a bunch. This is the easiest. If you're gonna <laughs> hold on, okay. If you're gonna trim the body hair. The body part, I mean, not the body hair. You want to get that much and start. I'm going to trim about an inch. It's easier if you have the tooth comb, the fine tooth comb, but who cares? I don't have that, so we're going to use whatever I have. That's the whole point of that video. And I'm going to trim it at an angle. Yes, feeling pro. I'm not going to make a straight line out of it. Let's do that. What? Are you gonna shake? Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Closer. Do that again from the top. Cut, 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 cut. Make sure you don't cut yourself as well. I remember I used to have a long hair and I cut my own hair. It's, it's a layered cut because that was the easiest. Now, I have way shorter hair. Cut, 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 cut. 
this is big. Cut, 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 cut. I feel like a pro. Not a pro groomer, but a pro hairstylist. <laughs> Shout out to my hairstylist, the two Renes. Um, Rene Huelgas and Rene Tolentino. <laughs> so, cut. I'm sure I am misrepresenting you. Well, I'm, I'm your client and friend, not a student of yours, so. Now I'm going to the side. Cut, cut, cut. Brush back. Get whatever you can get. Cut, 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 cut. Just trim. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. What about here? Cut, 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 cut. Great. This side you can't see. Same principle. Cut, 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 cut. An inch, half an inch. I don't, I don't already know. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. Almost there. Last. Ooh, this one's curly. I'm having fun. So now, done. I want to cut, I want to give it a little bit of shape. Like this side, it looks like a skirt. I don't have a system of how to cut it. I'm just going to make a straight line like that. So I'm going to face him here. <laughs> Again, there's nothing professional about this. I'm going to brush it back and down and see what we can cut here. Okay? About an inch. Make sure you don't hit your dog's armpit or skin. Be very careful with it. Done. Stupid. I can't believe I'm showing this to you, but you know, sharing is caring. And see? Shorter. Shorter. You can refine it if you want. I don't have to. I don't need to. And I don't wanna. I just want to remove most of the hair. And I'm gonna do it here as well. Kaya's extra good boy today. Look at that. I want to remove this. What else do I want to remove? Nothing else. Okay. Nothing else. I think we're about done. Okay. Let's do some nails. Okay. The dreaded black nails. Again, same thing. You have to be very careful. And I'm still going to do it with his foot, uh, with his, I was going to say fat ass. I was going to, yeah, I was going to say fat ass. I, I, I was saying I have to do it very carefully. So this is the nail clipper that I have. It's got some light and I don't actually use the light to... Hi, Coach J. Hi, Coach Jasper Lagitao. Okay, so what I use it for is to put the black nail somewhere there and it shows me where the quick starts. You don't want to cut the quick because it, it's painful. So what I'm going to do is try to put it here. Of course, I can't show this to you, but try to estimate where the quick starts because I don't want to cut that. So let's start cutting a small piece at a time. One. Hold on. Hold on, guy. Okay. <laughs> I 
So that was one nail. That was one nail. And <laughs> we have a few more nails to go. I did Alab's nails yesterday, first time. Oh, that was second nail. Let's try a third one. Oops, hold on, Kai. Hi. So we're gonna run out of time trying to finish this in front of you. So that's how I grew my dogs. And I hope that you've learned something. The most important thing that I think you need to remember will be you have to be conservative about cutting their hair. Make sure you're using... I make sure I'm using a craft scissor. My cleaning solution, the natural cleaning solutions that you have, uh, that I showed you, the concoctions, it's very useful and it's very safe for your dogs. And you don't need to use a dryer. I use this every day for them whenever I'm walking them so I can also wet them and make sure that they don't go into a heat stroke. Um, when I'm competing in an agility competition, I also bring a solution of water and vinegar. Uh, I can, you can actually skip. That is for cooling them down whenever you're competing under the sun. And normally, I, I already skip the povidone iodine when I'm just using it to cool my dogs down. And I have three more minutes and I'm just gonna let this one die on its own because uh, I'm learning something. Instagram story or Instagram live is only up to about exactly an hour, 60 minutes. So let's see if I can do the rest of this snail. Kai, what are you doing? Are you? No, not your ears. So I've cut the snail. Done. One paw done. <laughs> That's how difficult it is, especially if it's a black nail. Wait, wait. And not wait. <laughs> Two more minutes before we're done. takes a longer time than everything else Pineta. you can what you can also do is start cutting one nail a day so it's there's hardly any pressure on you to do it the whole time the whole, everything at the same day it's less stressful to your dogs obviously he's already very stressed and I am done with one for oh, two did I finish two I doubt it I'm gonna check again later. So I'm gonna put him down and <laughs> take one last look of this newly groomed baby. Hi. Hi. Why are you so cool? You're so cool. Okay. Let him relax. And let me clean up my mess because there's just a whole lot of fucking mess here and I need to sweep the floor and all that shit. Okay. So, what have we learned today? You don't need a blow dryer. Actually, don't blow dry your dogs. It's very inhumane. I don't like using the blow dryer. I just like soaking them in vinegar, a solution of water, vinegar, and iodine, and povidone iodine, and let it sit in their body until it naturally dries up. And it's good for the skin. It removes the yeast. It, it disinfects them and all that good stuff. Also the ear solution, half vinegar, one part vinegar, one part water. And that's all for today. I have 10 seconds remaining. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. If not here, then Facebook. Goodbye.